The major goal for anyone learning the Arabic language is to understand the only message man was sent to us by the Almighty Allah, which is the Quran. That is why in our lessons of the Rasul Lugba, you will see that it is always directed and verses are always been brought from the Quran. And from our previous lessons, we had been discussing active verbs and passive voice verbs. Verbs which are built for the active voice and verbs which are built for the passive voice. If you've not watched those videos, you can click on the link above to watch it. Now today we want to look at verses of the Quran which are coming in the passive voice and to say their meanings so you understand and be able to point out the, those verbs which are their active voices and also the naibul fa'il, the assistant subjects, knowing that subjects only appear when we are using a, an active verb. Like when we say, Qatala Muhammadun al Hayata, Muhammad killed the snake. Here, Muhammad is appearing because we are using the word Qatala. When the word Kutila is being used, the, the performer of the action will not be appearing. Quickly, let's dive in into the topic. And before then, Assalamu alaikum, Ahlan wa Sahlan, Marhaban bikum, you all are welcome back. Ma'akum Akhukum Abu Jandal with you, it's your brother Abu Jandal. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hit on the subscription button to be part of our large family. Now we have our book with us, the Rusul Logat al Arabiya, Ligar in Atakina Biha, and we are still on lesson three. You can see here, the question says, Ayin, Naib al Fa'ili Fima Yati. You are to indicate the pro agent or the agent or the assistant, the deputy subject in the following as verse of the Quran. Every verse of the Quran will have either the subject the object or the naïbul file that is um, the agent or the assistant of the subject. Now we have the following verses which are very common to us. The now the first verse we have here is wa idhal mau'udatu su'ilat and when the baby who was buried alive is being questioned on the day of judgment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question those babies whose parents buried them alive. We all know that during the pre-Islamic era the Arab men would bury their daughters because they feel they were shame to their family. So whenever their wives give birth to if a girl they will take her and bury her alive so allah is saying that on the day of judgment such girls will be questioned be a them being quoted that for what sin were you killed because they never committed any sin against their parents so from this verse you see the word so elect it is the al it is the verb which is built in the passive voice and from this verb we can get the naible file that the naible file the assistant um, subject it is domirun mustatir a latent pronoun and takodiru who here who's um which is um here be a year then being the same thing goes for kutilat it is deniable file is also domino mustatir takodiru who here now verse number two we have wala takulu and do not say liman yokotadu fi sabili lahi amwat do not refer to anyone who has been killed in the cause of Allah as being dead then we can see from this verse the word yuqtalu it is also al fail mudari al mabni yu lil majhul a present tense verb which is in the majhul case now you can see that the word yuqtalu yuqtalu from here we can get say that the naible file is domir mustatir taqdiru huwa mashallah number three we have wala tusaluna amma kanu ya'malun and you will not be questioned concerning what they were doing so the word tusaluna this is also al fail al fail al majhul so from here we see that the word it's called jama'a and it is the sign which shows the naibul fa'il. Now we can see he, the he is not questioned concerning what he does, and they will be questioned. The word yusalu it is also fa'ilun mudari'un, which is in the majhul passive um, voice so this from this verb we can see that so it is the latent um, naible file it is there then what you saluna also the word there is wow jama'a which is also domero mustatir which, which is which also shows the sign of um, the naible file 
Number five, we have Afala Yanzuruna ila ibili keifa khurikot. Do they not look at the camel, how it is being created? So, khurikot, khurikot, it is being created. Here we also say that the naibul file is Domiru Mustatir, taqadiruhu here. Wa ila sama i keifa rufiat. And do they not look at the sky, how it is being erected? So, rufiat, Domiru Mustatir, taqadiruhu here. The same thing goes for naibul file. Wa ila al keifa nusibat. And into the mountains, how they are mounted and pegged. So, nusibat there is also al fail al madi al mabni al majhul. Therefore, the naibul file is Domiru Mustatir, taqadiruhu here. Wa ila al arud keifa sutihat. And onto the earth, how the, it is being situated, how it is being spread out. So, Suti Hat, it is also Al Fail Al Maadi Al Mabni Yulil Majhul. And the Naibul File is Domiru Mustatir Taqadiruhu here. Masha Allah. With this, we come to the end of this topic where we have been able to bring lots of verses from the Quran we, that um, entails the Naibul File and also the verbs in their passive verses. Until we meet again, we shall continue with this topic, but another branch of it. Until then, make sure you like, share with your friends, and drop a comment in the comment section. Until we meet, Assalamu Alaikum.